Doi jail. What? Doi. <clears throat> I'm gonna need quite a, quite a bit of practice. I don't, I don't wanna say natural because no one has like white nails. <laughs> I have been an at-home gel nail girly for quite some time now and I'm a firm believer in investing in your nail products. So I got a package in from Sweetie Nail Supply. I wanna share with you guys some of the products that I picked out because I'm still kind of new to Korean and Asian gel nail products, but I have been doing a lot of research and I'm trying out some of the more popular products and brands that I've seen. So I wanna share with you guys things that I picked out because I would say this is like the biggest haul that I've done as far as gel nail products go. So. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now really quick, my experience with Sweetie Nail Supply has been very positive. I have ordered from them one time before and their packages, I live in the States, come in about like a week, two week and a half. They're located in Canada, so I feel like that's pretty good. The products are always packaged really well and I can always usually track down a little discount code somewhere online. So they have a good selection, which I'm happy with. And I feel like they do a really good job at showcasing some of their products on their TikTok and things like that. I spent days picking out the products because it's almost a little overwhelming the amount of products and brands and choices you have and for me i am not professionally trained so don't take any like advice here if you guys want some more serious advice i recommend the nail hub which is a very like if you like the science part of gel nails definitely check them out i also watch a lot of young nail videos and there's a couple other youtube channels i'm going to link down below if you want more technical advice on gel nails definitely watch that because it's very important for your safety to have a good idea as far as how to do gel nails at home so i'm just gonna go ahead and like start reaching into my little box here and like pick out products so the first brand that I was interested in trying is this Yogurt Nails brand. I got a couple different colors from them. Yogurt Nails has a lot of those really syrupy style gel nail products. The ones that lay on a little bit thicker, but have a little bit of transparency so you can see your nail underneath. I have tried another brand of syrup nails. I forget what they're called. They have the bow on the bottle. I'll put it on screen. I find lifting with that, I'm having an issue. I think I'm applying a very thin layer, so I don't know if it's the brand or maybe like the nail system that I'm using is not working well enough, but I thought I'd try another brand to see what the issue is. So I picked this color, it's this really pretty glitter color with a, like a pink base. It's R Glitter 7. And I just think this is so beautiful. It has like very fine glitter specs. So I feel like it's gonna be a subtle shimmer, but still a little something something. So I'm super excited about this. What else do we got in my magic box? Ah, okay, another yogurt gel nail product. This is from the Lala collection, which I think was a winter collection. And this is Glitter 35. This has actually like large glitter particles in it. And this reminds me, if you guys remember like the holographic nail trend back in the day, like eight years ago, it was really popular in Korea, kind of reminds me of this. In fact, I think I had a nail polish that had similar glitter specs in it. I just think this will be really cool to like add an accent nail or something that's gonna have a little bit more effect. I don't know, but I got this. I just think it's pretty. It look, they, all the swatches on Sweetie Nail Supply look so delicious and lovely. Like it was really hard for me to narrow down what I wanted. That was also why it took me so long to like finally pick out what I was gonna order. Okay, so this, this brand is really interesting to me. So this is the brand Myth Mellow and they are Hema Free Gel Nail line. And I would prefer obviously to use Hema Free Gel Nail products even though I make sure to like cure my nails, keep it off the skin, practice really safe gel nail application, and I also have a very high quality curing lamp, I would still prefer just to use Hema Free, but the problem with using Hema Free is that they don't have as good adherence to them because the adherence comes from the Hema. So I am trying this out to see if it's good. I've heard good things about Myth Milo, and I wanted to get the whole system. I think they were out of the base, so I don't think I got the base, but I did pick up this nail color. This is in BL04, and this is kind of like a white color, but it also has a little bit of pinkiness to it. I just think this would be really pretty instead of like a stark white. It has a little bit of a more pinkish hue to give it a more, I don't, I don't wanna say natural because no one has like white nails. <laughs> But you know, it just seems more wearable to me. Or like on my toes, I feel like in the summertime this would be a really pretty color. So I will give this a go and let you guys know my thoughts on this brand. I have a couple more products from them. But if you guys have experience with Myth Milo or other Hema Free brands, definitely let me know. What else is in here? Oh, speaking of, here's the other color that I picked out. It's R012, also from Myth Milo. Now this is a bit of a darker burgundy color. It almost has like a brownish hue to it. Again, I gravitate towards these types of colors, 
for my toes, for my fingernails. I wear these colors year round. So I wanted to get some mainstay colors and really invest in my nail products because I'm a firm believer in using high quality nail products, especially gel nail products. So I'm just trying to upgrade everything. That's another like basic color that I know I will get a lot of use out of and then hopefully in the future I can acquire some more nail colors. <laughs> I like how I just randomly pulled out all my Myth Mellow products all at once. Okay, so this is the original basic line. This is actually the top coat, the original clear from Myth Mellow. And like I said, I wanted to get the whole system, but they were sold out of some of the pieces. So I'm just gonna have to wait until they come back in stock. But I do have the top coat that I can use with my colors and we'll see how this goes. And like I said, this is also hemma free. So I'm really hoping this works out for me because I feel like Price-wise, they're reasonable for a really high-quality nail product, and if they stick, I'm gonna use this. Oh, I have never tried anything from this brand, and I have seen so many positive things said about this brand, and also, of course, Nail Bio, that's like a very popular nail artist. This is the Doi Gel. What? Doi. <clears throat> this is from the Doi Nail Gel line. This is the Twinkle. Again, I'm really into the glitter sparkle. I'm telling you, the pictures that they have are so enticing. It makes me think I could do that and then I just, hopefully I can achieve a similar look. But this is a little bit of a different glitter than the other ones that I picked out. It has a clear base, but it also has like a finer particle and a more iridescent particle. So it has a little bit more of like a shimmer to it, which I'm excited to try. I've seen her use this as like kind of a base underneath like marbling effect or French effect. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna see if I can do that. I have a feeling I'm, I'm gonna need quite a, quite a bit of practice. <laughs> but at least I have the quality products for it. I just realized I never put on lip product for this video, so dang it. I was so excited to show you my gel nail products that I completely forgot. So, oh well, we're here. Oh, okay. These are new and these I was so excited to try because I have been wanting to get into more builder in a bottle type products and I've used builder gel on my nails before as an overlay to protect my nails and help grow them out. I use the Young Nail System but I don't like that they come in pots and they just get messy. So I like the bottle idea and this is cool because this is a colored builder gel so you can actually just apply this as like a color and be done with it or you can apply it as a base under other colors and you can also do that. So this is from Diami. This is the over gel. Over gel. <laughs> and I got it in the shade natural pink. It's so hard for me to read Korean that small. Like I said, it's a builder gel in a bottle and it looks like this. <laughs> I will do B-roll. <laughs> Anyways, I like DME. I have the top gel, now I have the builder gel, and somewhere in here, I have the base gel. So I picked this up, so I have the whole DME now system, so we'll see if sticking within the same brand helps with my adhesion. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Oh, here's the other. Here's another yogurt nail color that I picked out. Again, I'm a, I am love red on my nails, any form of red. And this is like a fire engine red, so it's very bright. I thought, you know, I wear red in the summertime, so I thought like a really bright red would be absolutely beautiful. And this is color 36. So this is actually more of an opaque color versus this guy here, which is actually like a transparent syrupy type of color that kind of gives you those jelly effects. This one is more of just like a gel color. Then last but not least, frankly, this is the reason that I placed this order is because I really wanted to try this. This has been popular and viral for quite some time now. And it is the Jello Jello One Kill Pill Off. I think this is such a cool idea, especially if it actually lasts for like two weeks, which is about standard for wear that I get out of my gel nails. And the fact that I don't have to deal with like filing off or soaking my gel nails will be really nice that I could just kind of pop them off. I like that idea because A, I actually think it'd be safer because you don't get like the gel particles when you're grinding it off on your skin. And also it just seems faster and safer for my nails because inevitably somehow I damage my nails when I remove my gel nails, if I'm being honest. So this seems like a safer way to do it. And basically what this is, use it as a base for your gel nails in, in place of a normal base. You do your normal gel nails on top of it and then when you're ready to remove it, you use the liquid that it comes with to remove and they're supposed to just pop off 
We will find out. Anyways, guys, like I said, that was my haul from Sweetie Nail Supply. I'm so excited to test out a lot of these new products. And like I said, I've seen a lot of buzz around the ones that I picked out and I will keep you guys posted on my progress. I do post over on TikTok like little short videos. So maybe I'll post some like projects that I do on my nails over there. And if you guys have any recommendations for me, leave it in the comment section down below. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.